So this video was actually inspired by one of you. I had a, uh, a, a viewer that, that contacted me because they were just having, uh, you know, like some trouble with a disassembly and wanted to know maybe what tools that I uh, recommended for them to use. And I thought, you know what, what the heck, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a video and show you exactly the tools I use for maintaining my knives and where you can buy them. Let's do this. Hey, how you doing? My name is Jay, and if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel, and consider clicking on subscribe if you're looking for knife reviews that get right to the point. Just about every tool that I need fits in this little pouch. So, let's go ahead and uh, crack open my little Mega Magic, and I'm going to start with probably one of the most important tools that I own for knife maintenance, and that is going to be this uh, Weha 10-piece uh, Torx bit selector. So from what I have read, that it really matters where your the Weha bits are manufactured, uh, because they're either made in in Germany or Vietnam. This is the the kit from Germany, which has harder steel. The Vietnam bits, uh, it's a little bit softer, so those tend to uh, to strip out. The set that you're looking at right now, it is the bits are they're a quarter inch in diameter and it's there's 10 pieces okay 10 pieces in this kind of like self-contained uh sort of sort of case here and it goes all the way from a torx number five on up to a t30 so not that you'll ever need to use uh, a t30 especially maybe not eat on a knife but you know you have it now i do have a little bit of a gripe with this kit because it I really wish that they would have printed on the side, you know, T5, T6, T6, so you knew exact, I mean, I guess you can know, you know, it, it's, it's stamped on the bit itself, the size, I don't know, but it's just nice to be able to, uh, to see it, not have to guess. Now, something that I thought was really cool about this, uh, this set is that it comes with this, like, extension, and what you can do Yep, see that? It fits right into the case, and then that way you can just, yeah, use this uh, as the actual, like, as the actual wrench. These German-made um, Weha bits, now, these are going to be on Amazon for about, uh, what is it, $15. And the vietnam the ones that are made in in vietnam those are going to cost you a little bit less but remember you know there's been reports that the steel is a little softer with those so there is a compromise my next tool is uh, this is actually a newer addition to my kit and this is just simply called just a, a, a t-handle bit holder and you can find these on amazon for uh for about eight dollars it's about five inches in length and it accepts the the Weha quarter inch bits and yes it is uh, magnetic it's actually kind of a very strong uh, magnet which uh, sometimes means that I'm, you know I'm, I'm picking up like screws and stuff when I when I don't want to but at first when I got this I I didn't like it because, you know, I want everything to be able to, uh, you know, to fit in my little case and this wouldn't. So I was really disappointed when this first, when this first arrived. But now after using it, I don't know how I survived all these years uh, without it because this gives you just incredible like leverage and you know you can get that uh, you can push and you can get that that like torque it's really easy to like uh, break free screws that have uh, Loctite 
Now this next tool, it is, uh, this is one that I, I, I stumbled upon on Amazon and it's just called the a pickup tool. I know, really creative. And all it is, is it's, it's got a spring, so you push down on this plunger, but when you do, yeah, that claw kind of pops out. And yes, that is like metal wire. So what I use this for, because this is actually marketed towards like, uh, you know, like jewelers or whatever, jewelry making. What I do is I'll grab the screw and then let's say you're trying to attach a pocket clip, right? And what I did before I, I bought this was I would kind of just, you know, drop this, let go of the screw and kind of play bozo buckets with it and hope it would land in the screw hole. And usually, of course, it would not. So with this pickup tool, you can see I can go between the clip and then I can get it into that screw hole, just like that. And then you let go, push down on the plunger and usually, yep. And then I can uh, just simply now screw it in with my uh, Torx bit. And this, this entire housing, it is all made out of uh, metal. It's four and a quarter inches long and it sells for around uh, $7 on Amazon. But unfortunately, at the time of this recording, I saw that it was not available, it was out of stock. So I will include a link to, to the out of, out of stock item, but then I'll also give you a link to another, because there are so many different like versions of this made by, by all different companies. So I'll include a link to another that is like comparable in price, but this is just a excellent tool. These last couple of items, now they're not, they're actually not really even tools at all, but they're things that I really, I, I couldn't live without. And the first one being this, this bottle of uh, Tough Glide. And it's called, a, it's a dry lubricant. So it's not oil based, even though it, it functions like an oil, uh, it is, it dries. So I'm gonna use this FH41, this Ganzo to uh, demonstrate. So what I like to do, especially, yeah, on the D2 steel, I'll put a couple drops on there with this uh, Tough Glide and then, you know, wipe it around with my, uh, with my finger there. And then I let that dry. I mean, it just takes, it takes about like 30 seconds for it to dry, but it does leave like a, like, like a little bit of a film on there. So it protects, you know, it'll help protect your blade seals that, you know, have a tendency to, uh, to rust. Now this, I believe I saw this on another YouTube channel. Uh, oh boy, I think it might've been even, uh, Nick Chavez. And, um, because he uses this, uh, blue Loctite because this is not like the old stuff in the liquid form that would just get everywhere, which I don't even really, I, I, I don't like using Loctite, but sometimes you absolutely have to. But look what they did now. Yeah, it now comes in like, it's like a, a, a stick, you know, like those glue sticks maybe used in uh, grade school. Yeah, it's kind of like that. And then it really makes, you know, applying the, the blue Loctite just really, less mess and that is like great for a guy like me i will make sure every link for everything that you see here will be down in the description if you have any questions by all means hit me up if you enjoyed this video and you got any i mean any value from it hey leave a, a thumbs up i you know i really like those don't forget click on subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you at the next video hey take care